called to the president's office. I've been here 20 years. This is the first time this has happened. Uh, what do you think this is about? Well, unfortunately, I have an idea what it could be about. On your Facebook page, you did put up those pictures from the Darwin uh -huh. party that I sent you, and especially that one where I'm in high heels and a feather boa. That may have not have been the best that might choice. Not have been I, or it could have been the posting of me doing the Harlem Shake with the women's swim team. That probably was not too appropriate <laughs> that's, either. That's no better. Uh -huh. All right, well, let's take our medicine and head to the president's office. Okay. Hi, Elise. We're here to see Mark. the president. Well, he's ready. I have to let you know, though, he's looking a little troubled and anxious today. Yeah, that's what we thought, but let's take care of this. Okay. okay. Yep, good luck. Here we go. Yes. Steve, are you ready for Mark and uh, Stephen? Yes, absolutely. Please send them in. Okay. Ah, colleagues, I'm very glad you could come over. Please have a seat. Thank you, Steve. I've been looking very carefully at some of your online postings. Mm -hmm. Okay. And there's some important things we need to discuss. High heels and a feather boa. Posting of me doing the Harlem Shake with the women's swim team. That probably was not too appropriate. <laughs> I've been looking at some of the Bio 125 videos that you've been putting online. And the question about the inheritance of the ABO blood types really confuses me. I think I understand some of the basics, but there's some more advanced topics I'd really love to delve into. Sure, sure. Whatever we can help. Yeah, let's try it. I'm wondering about the frequency of the different blood types in a population where all three alleles are present. Ah. First, I thought it might have something to do with the Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium, but Perfect. I'm really having difficulty figuring out how to work all three alleles into a P squared plus 2PQ plus Q squared formula. It's just not fitting for me. Can you help me understand this? Absolutely. I think we can help. We wouldn't be the stars we are if we couldn't. All right. Great. Do you need some paper? Uh, no, I happen to bring a whiteboard with me. I'd like to travel with it. All right. Everything right here. Well, the ABO blood group is a wonderful three allele system. There are four blood types. The A type, the B type, the AB type, and the O type. The A type can consist of a genotype where both alleles are of the IA, or one allele is the dominant IA and the recessive little i. Same thing with the, the B blood type. Both alleles can be homozygous for IB or heterozygote. Uh, the AB, the codominant form we talked about earlier in class, was IA, IB. And finally, the O type, homozygous for the two recessive alleles. And so, Mark, I'm going to let you take it from here to talk about some of these frequencies. Absolutely. And Steve, you are right on the money to be thinking about Hardy-Weinberg because it's very close to the Hardy-Weinberg problem. In fact, it is the Hardy-Weinberg problem, but just with three alleles instead of two. So as Stefan points out, when there are three blood type alleles, we have to deal with three frequencies. So you can have the frequency of the IA allele, the frequency of the IB, and the frequency of the small i. These are P... Q and R, that's where the third one comes in, so there are three separate frequencies. And if we think of these circles as a population, the size of the piece of the pie represents how much of each of the three alleles. And these would represent haploid gamete pools. So this could represent the egg pool and this could represent the sperm pool. So now we just follow the exact same rules of Hardy-Weinberg to figure out the blood type frequencies from the allele frequencies. So let's start with the easiest one, which is blood type O, two small i alleles. To get blood type O, you have to reach in at random and get a, an egg cell with a small i and a sperm cell with a small i. The probability of those two events equals R squared, because the probability of blood type I allele, small i allele, in an egg is R, and in a sperm is R. 
done. So that if we know these frequencies, we know the blood type O. What about AB? So to get an AB offspring, you have to pull, well, there's two ways to do it. I could pull an IB egg and an IA sperm. Let's see, IA has frequency P, IB has frequency Q, so that combination is PQ, but I can get it another way. I can take an IB egg and an IA sperm, that's QP, or the same as PQ, so that is 2PQ. So uh, that looks familiar, at least, from the Hardy-Weinberg. The other two, we just have to keep in mind that there are two ways to have a genotype that gives the same blood type. So for a blood type B, the probability of being homozygous is Q squared. Q squared plus... I have to take into account that I can have a B blood type that's a heterozygote. And by exactly these same arguments, this is 2 times Q times R. There's two ways to get that heterozygote, with an IB egg and a small I sperm, or with a small I egg and an IB sperm. So that's why 2QR. And then finally, you can probably see that this is going to be probability of a homozygote, P squared, plus probability of the heterozygote, 2PR. So, in answer to your question, Steve, if you know these frequencies, you can figure out the blood type frequencies. So, Steve, how does that go? I got it now. It's really very simple as long as you use the probabilities of each diploid genotype. Absolutely right. Yeah, no, it all hangs together for me. I really appreciate this. Great, great. Well, listen, I need to go to a meeting right now with some donors who are thinking of making a major gift to the bio department. Okay. Whoa. But at some point, I'd also like to talk to you about some really interesting photos I saw on the web from the Darwin Day party. Okay, well, we have to go, too. We'll, we'll check <laughs> our calendars, and we'll, we'll get Thanks back to you. Bye-bye. We'll see you later.